So you may remember vectors, we should remember vectors, uh, where we have a direction and a magnitude. And in two-dimensional space, we typically notated these something like uh, either using angle brackets, uh, so two in the horizontal direction, three in the vertical direction, or using the vectors i and j as the uh, you know unit vectors in the horizontal and in the vertical direction. Uh, being i and j. So extending this into three dimensions is really the same idea. Uh, we're just going to need a third component to our vector. So if we have uh, you know, our x, y, and z coordinates here, uh, and we have a vector that says, say, points uh, 1 in the x direction, 2 in the y direction, and 3 in the z direction. So, uh, you know, points to you know, one in the x, two in the y, and three in the z. So if we have a vector that points from here to here, uh, then it's pointing one in the x, two in the y, three in the z, and we can use write it using angle bracket notation like this, or we can use the similar ij, ij notation, uh, adding in a third component. Oh, so let's get the right coefficients in there. So one i, two j, <laughs> and 3 in the k direction. So we'll introduce k as the uh, unit vector in the z direction. Okay, so in 3D, uh, we can do most of the same stuff that we could do in two dimensions. Uh, so for example, if I had the vector, uh, vector u was 1, 2, 3, and the vector v was 0, negative 1, 4, then I could go ahead and add these two vectors together, and I can do that component-wise. So I can add the x components, add the y components, add the z components to find the sum of those vectors. Likewise, I could scale a vector. If I wanted to find 2u, uh, I can simply scale each component of that vector by two units. If I need to find the magnitude of a vector, uh, the double bars here meaning magnitude or length of the vector, then we can basically use the distance formula uh, to find the length of the vector. It's going to be the sum of the squares of the components. Uh, so 1 plus 4 plus 9 here, or root 14, as the magnitude of that vector. So we can go ahead and add vectors, scale vectors, find the magnitude of vectors in three-dimensional space, very similar to how we did in two-dimensional space.